I had an accident. Origin sent over this beautiful Millennium PC for a sponsored video of our choosing, which is risky. And unfortunately for them, it happened to arrive at exactly the same time as this bin of the most random water cooling stuff that Alex could find on eBay. Alex permitted me to open one in the intro. I'm gonna go with the big heavy one. Wait, is this our radiator? It's handmade and passive. <laughs> Without further ado then, let's see who did it better. This random collection of handmade and vintage water cooling crap from the internet's garage sale or Origin PC. I really hope Origin PC wins because if they don't, it's gonna be pretty embarrassing. Like scratched up. Oh, Brandon, it's good. So the scratches give you more surface area okay. for this to. Enough. Let's get the B-roll. Oh my God. All the clips holding it together are falling out all over the place. I assume we've taken some baseline measurements of how the system performs with the stock water cooling. Oh yeah, it's great. Like actual ray tracing on 4K still hits 130 FPS. It's fantastic. Why don't we go ahead and have a look at some of the other things we got. This is an old Alpha Cool reservoir designed for an aquarium pump. An advantage to this approach is that you don't have to have a lot of fluid in your system because a lot of your reservoir space is taken up by pump. Oh wait, this is actually what it's supposed to be? I thought this was like a random aquarium pump. No, this is definitely a thing. Using aquarium pumps for water cooling is what we did before there were purpose-built water cooling pumps. So wait, is this AC? Oh, it is 12 volts. Yay! Right, that makes sense. This is an Alpha Cool product. This is a PC water cooling reservoir. And so they would have found an aquarium pump that runs you know, easily off of PC power supply and designed it around it. Um, this has gotta be a really old product though. Oh yeah. Oh my God, this O-ring. More like O-ring. Why did we buy something used? Because we wanted to see what kind of water cooling stuff you can get on eBay. And it wasn't enough for us to just see in the picture that this thing is grody. We, <laughs> we, we needed to hold it and lick it. Oh. oh no, 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 no. Oh, I don't want to use these fittings. Oh wow, yeah, those look terrible. Not good. Those look much better in the post. What even is this? How is that even a piece of a fitting? You know when you can tell just from the color of the plastics that something is really old? Oh, is this Hardline? Who is EM Technic? No, it's not Hardline. It is Hardline. Well, but the fitting. You can even just tell from the quality of the molding. These are ancient. Oh. Like early 90s, late 80s ancient. Like these are really old, dude. That's okay, what the this picture is, looked like? This is just wrong. <laughs> Did we just get scammed? <laughs> this is not even close. Expectations okay. versus reality here. I was going to say like, I don't remember it being this. I, I thought it was all just going to work. I, I now understand why I thought it was going to work. Wait, wait, wait. No, there's something else in here. Fishing lures. What? Wait, why is this ship to address someone in Latvia? Are you messing with me right no. now? No. Oh my God. What is that? Well, they aren't fishing lures, but they sure as hell aren't the things in Alex's picture either. Ow. They at least appear to be G1 quarter. These are by far the jankiest fittings I have ever seen. Apologies to Inta if we got your random crappy fittings slash fishing lures. If you reach out, if this was actually your package, let us know and we'll send you a really nice set of EK fittings free of charge. The plastic fittings I'm hoping we can use because if we're gonna do hardline with this tubing or something like it, our only chance of bending it is gonna be to use right angle fittings, not to bend the tubing itself. And these metal ones, while they are right angle, are threaded on, damn it. Cannot afford to break one of these. We have only eight fittings total. Threaded on one side, so they're not gonna help us mid run. We need these for that. I think we got scammed pretty hard, yeah. <laughs> oh, my week just got so much more difficult. <laughs> but more fun. Yeah. It's gonna be an upgrade. This system isn't hardline water cooled. Please tell me this is not the CPU block. This is so freaking heavy. <laughs> is that the reservoir? This is freaking old school, man. This is a solid freaking kill chunk of machined aluminum 
that's then screwed onto like a face mounting plate and then you were intended. I think these are for like, um, like rack mount cases. Oh, Yeah, cool. like you would bolt them into the front so you could monitor coolant levels in the front of the case. It says it's $59.95 on here. We got an absolute deal on this. We only paid 48 bucks for it. Oh good. This was also addressed to Inta. Do we have someone else's shipment? So some of this is supposed to come from Latvia and we're supposed to get this. But this says to Inta. It is confusing. Also, it's labeled hair clips. That's one hell of a hair clip. <laughs> oh, is that no, supposed no, no, to be our no. CPU blocks? That would be really bad. I really hope not. That's a 13900K or something, isn't it? Yeah. I think you goofed. Does this even have any fins in it? We don't even have any way of opening it to see what kind of design is inside. I suspect it's just a flat oh, piece no. of copper. What? Did you see there's more in here? No. No! It's a CPU and a VGA oh. cooler. Oh, this is gonna be bad. What the hell were you thinking? In fairness, I sent you the links to all of this. I didn't look at that. You approved it. I can't be expected to read everything I approve. This thing's gonna look like a piece of crap. Oh, this is good news. Oh. There's another block. At least it's bigger. Okay, that's what I was expecting for the CPU. Oh, another reservoir. Huh. This is kind of cute. Alpha cool. Yeah. No stop fittings. I'm confused though. I don't think I ordered that. You also didn't order this Origin Millennium that they sent over because if you had, it wouldn't be this good. Everything in here is top of the line. We've got an i9-13900K, an RTX 4090, 32 gigs of DDR5 running at 6,000 megatransfers per second and four terabytes of SSD storage because why not? It's not just water-cooled. We took advantage of Origin's custom laser etching for the side panel and UV printing for the other more different side panel. That looks amazing. I can't believe we're about to ruin this. Think about how great this is gonna look with that massive passive radiator just strapped to it. Do you know what this is? Probably uh, VRM coolers from Motherboard. Yeah, they used to do kits of these. I was thinking these might be legitimately useful just for cooling like GPU memory. Cause that's a problem that I've had in the past where we're making some sort of janky die cooler but we don't have good stuff for the memory. Yeah, actually, these could work. We're gonna have to get really creative about which blocks are connected to which other blocks because not all of our fittings are the same diameter. So like we might have to take one of these off and put one of these on depending on what size tubing is going. Oh yeah. yeah. Hmm, fun. You know from hearing that, that if this guy ever invites you over for fun, it's not gonna be fun. Don't go. My parties are excellent. Do you have a total bill here? Yeah. I'm gonna open up this lap. What? <laughs> it's a Molex to, why would it need all of this on it? Wait, maybe it isn't this. Well, we have that now. You basically bought garbage. Yes, Brandon. Yes, thank you. That's very helpful. And how much did I um, pay for the garbage? $465, which is less than it costs to get the water cooling upgrade in this. So we're saving money. Except for your time. And the fact that you need like a whole workshop to make this work most likely. I've got a meeting. Okay. All right, let's see how good of a job Origin's done with their cable management in here. Ugh, it's fantastic, Brandon. I hate this. Not only am I going to be ruining their wonderful cable management, but it's going to be extremely hard to get all of the stuff that I need out. Before we start draining, I'm just gonna hold the power button for a second, make sure that all of the capacitors are nice and drained because things are about to get rather wet. What I'm thinking might be the best course of action is to remove this fitting. Then we have the tube, stick this little stopper in there as quick as we can. And hopefully it's all fine. There we go. Okay, that wasn't really Yeah, that wasn't bad at all. That was nowhere near as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It smells a lot like alcohol, which is good. You don't want stuff just growing inside of your loop if it's just water. Oh. Last time this GPU was happy. Poor guy. I've got almost everything out, but I just want to shout out whoever cable managed this because it is actually the best cable management that I've ever seen. Like not just the stuff that you see is cable managed, 
but everything underneath it was cable managed as well. And what really got me was this right here. This right here is the fan controller. So six fans go into this one controller and they wired it. So they would have had to take the whole controller off, plug in everything and route the cables down behind it and up and around just to make it that little bit extra clean. And now I need to undo all of it. I have not seen a reference 4090 PCB yet. Oh, wow. This is something, there is no RAM on the back. It's all VRMs and we don't even have full coverage with these VRM coolers. Well, I guess my question is, do we need to? Oh, just use the stock back plate. No, but like this wasn't doing anything. Oh, that doesn't necessarily mean that we don't need to cool them though. It's probable that that wasn't doing anything because the front side yeah. was carrying all the heat away from the board, which is copper, yeah. right? Is it cheating if we, is it cheating if we use thick thermal pads? Is it cheating if we just cover it in K5 Pro? Oh my God, we're not doing that. Never again. Especially when you don't know what size thermal pad. You didn't clean it. Yeah, because I didn't need to. No. Let's just go back to the basics here. So GPU die, that's solved. <laughs> it's right here. Boom, that's done. What about the MOSFETs? Uh, half and half. Half and half. So you're gonna go like that and put a thick thermal pad on it. Yeah. And this one probably can go right there. Um, and then finally, for those memories. Are you f***ing kidding me? that. It's pretty terrible. Let's move on. This with a bracket. Yep, easy. Okay, sold. Now things get more interesting. We have three reservoirs. So this goes in the bottom. But what about second reservoir? Up here. Yeah, up there. Front and center. Okay. Third reservoir. We go out from here into here. We use all three of these as outlets to feed our GPU. Because we could go into the GPU. Do you guys have that guy, you know, like in your friend circle or at work where you say something stupid, half joking, and they not only take what you said at face value, but continue to run with it? No, but we could go through the GPU die with one. So that's like in series. Yes. Then we split it using this into three yeah. to cover this garbage. Yeah. Then we recombine it in that, like you said. Yes. Yeet it into the CPU. Sure. And the plan was to just strap this to the side panel? Yeah, just zip tie it on the back. It's probably fine as long as we go in the top and out the bottom. Oh, I was going to say the other way. In the bottom, out the top so we can bleed it. That would be better for bleeding. I just don't know if our pump can do it. I think we're gonna have to try. Otherwise, how on earth are we gonna get the air out of this thing? Okay, is that everything? I guess at this point, I just do it. We have a lot to do, Jake. I've been doing a lot of stuff, but I've been mostly just turning garbage into bits of water cooling. So like, <laughs> in order to attach these, yeah. I machined out some copper for the memory. Yeah, oh. Aluminum for the MOSFETs. Those are just to space it up. Oh. Now, I consulted multiple engineers, three of them. Do you want to know what they decided for attaching these to this? Zip ties? Zip ties, piece of steel. <laughs> <laughs> Continuing with a the theme of just using garbage that I found around here, I didn't want to, you know, this is garbage that I see and see machined, kind of feels like cheating. So for the CPU, I TIG welded some steel. <laughs> <laughs> it looks very square. Did you try it yet? Oh yeah, it works. Oh, great. Wow. Since it's easier, do you want to take over CPU mounting? Yeah, it looks very easy. Man, this must have been so nicely cable managed before. Oh yeah, look at all those zip ties I had to take yeah. out. <laughs> oh, there's another one. And another one. This is somebody's hard work. I love how, how not straight the holes are. It was like pretty close, but she got a little bit warpy in welding. And the nice thing is, you just have these giant holes. So, you know, I got that much wiggle room in each corner. Yeah. Oh, I dropped it again. <laughs> I gotta stop doing that. Wow, that actually took a good chunk out of the corner. Ugh, ugh. Oh. oh, Jesus, why so much? I don't really know how the contact's gonna be. And ah. also it sort of just splurted out. I love that these, which were probably made in like 2006 or something, still have all of the plastic on them, meaning that nobody bought them. Can you believe nobody wanted this, David? Ow. <laughs> have we leak tested this yet? We have not. Maybe you can do that right now. 
Well, it doesn't really help that I got the thing all wet first. Seems okay. It's external anyway, so like it can leak. Yeah. Oh, look at that beauty. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, it's like just the tiniest bit still tacky. Ah, that's fine. I don't know how even this contact is gonna be, so. There's kind of like a flat spot, so I need to have it a bit offset. Wonderful mounting plate. Hey, look at that, copper and pink. It's the new, it's the new style. Copper and pink is such a wonderful color scheme. I don't, I don't actually know how tight these screws should be. We don't have springs like a usual CPU block, so I'm just getting them tight. Well, that's actually like not that jank. You got springs in there and everything. Yeah, I added the springs and then forgot that I kind of built this to work as a spring. Yeah. But it's a spring on a spring, it's fine. It's a lot of spring. The spring's fully compressed, so it's not a spring anymore. The eagle-eyed among you might have noticed that not all of these have the brackets left on them. That's because our reservoir needed a mounting bracket. And I figured, you know, reuse, recycle, this is good for the environment. I feel like I need to attach tubes to this first, or I'm concerned we won't be able to attach it to the GPU block. Probably a good call. Yeah, once it's all zip tied in, not gonna be easy. Again, I consulted three engineers to come up with this solution. I suppose now we should find out if this pump actually works. LTTstore.com. I'm gonna use this piece of solder to jump the power supply. It worked. <laughs> oh, I wanna see it shoot a bit more than that. Okay, here. All right, hit it again. Yep. What? I was really hoping that that would just shoot water across, but it's really not. Since our eBay pump wasn't working, we went and grabbed the worst looking pump in inventory. What's the, what's the head pressure of this, do you think, Jake? I don't know, is it not level Half, with that? It might be pushing the water the wrong way. I don't think it really matters though. Yeah, it has maybe half an inch of head pressure. <laughs> it's uh, legitimately the worst pump I've ever seen. And I've seen dead pumps. So we're using this one. <laughs> yeah. This other AliExpress one. Hey! Oh, it actually does stuff. This one rips. Heck yeah. Oh. Yeah, pointer straight up. Let's see what the head pressure is on this one. I've had enough of getting sprayed in the face with stuff while working on projects with you, frankly. <laughs> what Linus wanted to do. Oh God was go radiator, CPU, GPU die into this monstrosity of a reservoir, mm -hmm. break it into three. Why? Yeah, that's a really good question. We could just not. Sounds like a lot of work. I think we should just use this one. These fittings that we randomly got are designed for 10 millimeter hard tubing. Now sadly, 10 millimeter hard tubing just isn't really a thing. For us to get it in time for this video, it was going to be $230. It is a very <laughs> special thing. So instead I bought this very cheap 3 8 tube and we're just gonna shove it in here and hopefully the shark bite of it's all fine. I really dig this. Very much ILM prop. This right here could be on the set of Alien and it would be totally fine. Yep. Let's chuck her in. You're such a nerd. Oh, great. Huh, that works. Okay, so we need, a, we need cooling on this anyway. There's not a single problem with mounting a GPU like that. Oh, dude, that's beautiful. Yeah. It'll even like hold the tubes in. We're doing pretty good. Yeah. Got some things. There's probably some other things on here that aren't really on the list, but beautiful. There's some what look to be screw holes. I was kind of thinking if I just made a couple more, threaded them, and then just like actually drilled it into the back panel, that would work. Yeah. Screwed it to the back panel. What do you think the chances are that this thing just leaks terribly, David? Zero. Airtight. Zero airtight. All right, airtight. perfect. Oh god, it's leaking! Oh wow, it is leaking. Just a little bit too tight of a bend. Yeah, I think so. It does appear we have no more leaks in our GPU. Oh god, no, don't do any more notches than that. That's that's the notches. Oh, that's too many notches. <laughs> oh dear. Drilled some holes in the side panel. Drilled some holes in this thing. Now I'm just tapping them. So theoretically, once this is done. We just line this up with the side and run some screws and that holds it up. Oh, wow. Look, I even put spacers that I found in the drawer. Oh, nice. It's not a very like solid piece, so it, it's touching in the middle. But if you just pull it, then it's not touching in the middle anymore. Honestly, much better job than I was expecting. That's mint. Look at that. It's beautiful. How do you think we should bring the tube back in? We got one here and one down here. I think this one should go through the PCIe slot. Yeah, that one can go through PCIe easy. I can just drill a big hole, like right through that's, somewhere here. That's exactly what I was going to say. Wait a second, Jake, did yeah. you put this on the wrong way? What? Why? Well, so we want to fill it from the bottom to the top so that the air bubbles leave. Otherwise they probably won't, which means we need to go from the pump in here out around to this one, <laughs> then out here. Actually, we can just go down through the top to the CPU. 
Yeah, I'm not. It's not changing. So yeah, it you clearly do is not. You want. Where am I drilling the hole? Don't. Uh, drill the hole. Yeah, I don't think we need to drill a hole. I want to drill a hole. Cause look. Oh, I we see just don't need. add the thing. This right here goes on there. And we just sneak it in there. Yeah, we just snake her in. Oh, it's so much less cool than drilling a hole. <laughs> you don't need to drill Fine. a hole. Fine. You ready? Alex, you should probably make sure it doesn't like leak or whatever. Oh, heck yeah. Now nah, I want to watch this. There's a lot of water around the pump right now. I had an accident. It's working. Yeah. It sounds awful, but it's working. Honestly, water's a lot cleaner than I expected. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fair. <laughs> I'm amazed that this thing doesn't leak at all. Like, what the hell? Yeah, like this is the only part of the tube that we can see that came with it. And like, look at this. <laughs> it's so orange, this is soft tubing. It's hard now. We should bring Linus here and then turn it on. Okay, um, here's the thing, Alex. I couldn't help noticing that, wow, while the system does appear to be complete, a few steps appear to have been missed. Ah, that was just Jake was the one that was supposed to be checking these off. <laughs> Good supervising, Jake. Yeah, yeah you're welcome. <laughs> He wasn't supervising, he was helping. Yeah. Okay. All right, clearly it works. I'm... Well, no. <laughs> clearly it's together. I couldn't say it works. Uh, wait, what? Is this magnetic oh. or like, what even is this? No, it was... You know there's water on the bottom of the case, right? Yeah, and there's right? tape on there. Oh, there's tape, but the water makes it so the tape doesn't work. Yeah, we fixed that problem, but... Really? It's, it's still wet. Do tell. Oh my God. You didn't follow the plan, Alex. There's no fans on the radiator. Well, we're going to see how it works, see if it runs passively. When it doesn't, we can add fans. I see. That graphics card is so sketchy, dude. It looks like, sick. You really did it the way that we talked about. Yeah. I mean, I thought the plan might get a little better. Oh my god, you're so... This is holding the card up. Yep. <laughs> Thank goodness we're not trying to ship this to a customer. Do you like the pink? Uh, yes, that's a nice accent. It's got like a melty aesthetic, so uh, it makes sense that it would match our melty pink monitor. Okay, what are the odds this thing is just gonna immediately post? She's totally good. Just, just Everything's have faith, good. Have faith. Yes! Oh, yes! Yeah. Haha! <laughs> Shut up. No, she lives. She's fine. Uh huh. Thriving, even. It is, what, like $300 cheaper than what Origin did? And we're about to find out that it's way better, too. No, <laughs> we're not. What happened to our three-way tubing splitter? Uh, me and Jake thought it was really dumb. Well, yeah, I know. You can even see on here, decide if three-way split is dumb. And we said yes and crossed it off. That's fair. I mean, those idle temps are looking pretty cool. What is it? 34 degrees. Ooh, she's jumping a little bit. Hit 50 degrees, just launching a program. Yeah, so the before in Cinebench, was 36,634. Oh my goodness, we're already at 83 degrees. 91 degrees! 93 degrees! No, oh, how fast is it running? Ah, Cormac's uh, 96 degrees! Yeah, but, but, but no thermal throttling yet, 97 degrees. Hold on. Wait for it, we might make it 98 degrees! 35, 988! Haha! -ha. That's margin of error for sure. <laughs> margin of error slower, mind you, but yes. If we did a long blender render, it is possible we would overwhelm that weak radiator, but we hit 36,000 points. CPU performance, just as good. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even warm. Moving on to Forza, things are about to get even more interesting. While I'm pretty sure that the GPU itself will probably run at a reasonable temperature, I have serious concerns about the memory. We're looking for 128 average. Oh boy, memory junction temperature managed to hit 78 already. It's not great. Oh my God, even in game our CPU hit 93 degrees. That's with only a couple cores active. And it's loud. It's really loud. This is a much better gaming experience than the vast majority of systems on the market. Like this is like oh my God. easy you're, 98th percent. You're on. not wrong, but that's really not the point. Oh, she seems fine. You're actually Oddest right. that I see, 66, 67, that's fine. Anything bad under here? I mean, that's gonna be hard to spot, but uh, it looks like the yeah. end of the scale is like 56. Yeah, doing great. With that said, the worst parts could be totally covered by blocks, right? Because if we have poor contact between our block and the like mountain of thermal pad and then the heat generating components, they could be just sitting insulated under there and we'd have no way of knowing. 
Our water's apparently 33 degrees right now. Mm. Not great. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can really see which ones are working, which ones aren't. So this is at like 42 degrees right now. Yeah. It can still get hotter. It's not gonna get a chance. Our CPU is already at 100 degrees, sir. Our GPU has already reached 75 degrees. Mm. On air cooling, that would be fine, just fine. On water, that's a big boatload of suck. Yeah, and I tested multiple runs last time, 128 every single time. I don't think I've seen it hit 120. Oh, that's lower. I think the biggest surprise for me is that if it did have a proper radiator, right? Like you can see these temps creeping up over time. That's because the water's heating. If it had a proper radiator, it might actually work. Hmm, I'm suspicious. Oh wait, 124 again. It's not getting worse. I think that the blocks are a much larger Ooh. issue. <laughs> On the CPU, yes, but it, we would get away with it. If the water was cooler, we'd get away with it. But the thing is that even with a high performance radiator, you can expect your coolant temperature to rise. And so the worse performing your block is, the more of a problem that becomes. Should we stick a fan by it and see if it helps? Sure. Oh my God, that's the fan? What a good fan. Oh, it's quiet too. Oh, sort of. Our radiator had gotten up to 50 degrees. It looks like it's lowering now, which is good. This is just about the best sales pitch I've ever seen for a commercial water cooling solution. Only we could make custom water cooling look this easy, fast, and affordable by comparison. Just one thing left. Ah, yes. <laughs> and big thanks to Origin PC for helping us do it. If you enjoyed this video, you must be a sucker for punishment. So maybe check out the one where we put that uh, car radiator, car radiator yeah. on top of the Beautiful computer. Beautiful thing. It's an awful video, it's painful <laughs> to watch. People said it's like watching a submarine sink.